Yeah, indeed, and that's uh, sort of an interesting feature as well, how Putin seems to uh, be cutting himself off from uh, even his, his inner circle, his, his advisors. David, though, you have a background in military intelligence. Uh, this uh, apparent, maybe even flop of an invasion, uh, w w w I mean, why did it happen? What does it suggest? Because three, four days into fighting, uh, the Russians have not been able to control Ukrainian airspace. They have not been able to seize uh, a single major uh, city. And we have uh, reports that they are having trouble with their supply lines. I mean, this doesn't sound like the, the, the Russian military machine that, that Putin would like us to believe. Well, it certainly isn't uh, the Russian military machine, which uh, I, I would say was promised to us when uh, uh, Sergei Shoigu took over. Uh, and became probably the first really politicized military leader in in Russia's history since going back well into the Red Army. So in that sense, it's uh, before we go any further from what we know on the ground, it's it's a failure. It has failed to accomplish what was expected. Now, why would that be? Number one is uh, that a lot of these soldiers are conscripts. Uh, they don't know what they're fighting for or why. 80% of Russians believe that Ukraine is an independent state. Uh, of course, they have no way of expressing that form of dissent. And Putin, as you say, as a personalized autocratic leader, uh, is increasingly isolated uh, in his palace, afraid of COVID, afraid of this and that, but not afraid of killing Ukrainians. Uh, and he believes in his own propaganda. He believes whatever he wrote, 5,000 words about Ukraine not being a real nation, not being a real country. He believes that that is the truth. He even distributed the 5,000 words to his troops. Now, of course, his advisors depend upon promotion, not upon merit. So they repeat to Putin, Putin's worst prejudices. So there is actually no feedback loop which would allow Putin to get himself educated as to what reality was. Well, that is a perfect recipe for major mistakes, military, political, social, economic, and Putin is, is making them. If I, I, my view is that this is over a period, uh, the beginning of the end of Putin, because he is shown to be hallucinationary and uh, to be incompetent. 